Hi YouTube, Jared89 Wii U here bringing you a Devil's Third gameplay. So this is my first ever Devil's Third Wii U gameplay onto my channel. It's not the best gameplay in the world, but I do go on a 9 kill streak at the start, so hopefully you enjoy the gameplay. So in this commentary I'm going to be talking about my first impressions of Devil's Third. Because um, I got the game for my birthday along with some other games like Assassin's Creed 4 and Mario Tennis, 3DS, so... Yeah, so that's basically what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So firstly, when I got the game on my birthday, the servers were actually under maintenance, so I couldn't even play the online, so I just wanted to jump straight online instead of playing the um, single player, but unfortunately I couldn't, so I did play the first mission of single player just so I can get used to the controls. I didn't want to play too much of it though, because it doesn't look that good really, and the campaign has got a lot of bad reviews, like people are saying it's pretty bad, so I thought oh, I'll just play one level for now and just get used to the controls and it was okay, it wasn't amazing, it was quite easy really, I don't know if it's on a certain difficulty or not, but I found the first mission pretty easy, so I might continue with that later on when the servers go under maintenance again, but um, since that day they haven't been under maintenance, so I played the online the day after. And I only played it for about 30 minutes because I was really bad. I couldn't. I got like two kills out of the whole um, time I played, so I wasn't enjoying it at all. So I decided not to play it. And I also spent a lot of my um, golden eggs as well. I spent a lot of them on equipment, um, not equipment, um, clothes, gear, because um, they give you like extra health and stuff. And I don't really like the idea of that because having extra health is um, an advantage really because you can die it'll, it'll take more bullets to die which is a disadvantage for other players because they might not be able to kill you so that's one thing I don't like but some of the best clothing do cost quite a lot of golden eggs but people can obviously play so it's kind of like a pay to win game but I seem to do I seem to have done alright afterwards when um, I gave the um, game a couple of days break because I couldn't get used to it so I thought oh, I'll play it again on Saturday which was yesterday and I did play it again and this gameplay watching now was one of the first gameplays I got into because I was only level 2 and I'm only about level 3 now anyway and I got some decent gameplays so I did start to play a lot better I don't know if it's because the players were lower levels or not that low but they were like level 30 and the people I was playing with on the first time I played online were like level 60 so Maybe that's why, so I did alright, I got a few good gameplays, so I've got them saved on my um, hard drive, I don't know if I'll upload them or not, but we'll see. Um, I don't know why, but you can't find a lot of matches on Devil's Third, like, this is the only game I could find, I think it's called Battle Royale or something, it's pretty basically free, free for all, like in Call of Duty. Um... I don't like free for all that much in Call of Duty, so obviously playing it on Devil's Third didn't make it much better, but I had to because it was the only thing you could play. I wanted to play in Team Deathmatch because that's what I'm used to playing, but um, I couldn't find any games of that, and it does take a while to load. That's one thing I don't like about this game. The loading screens take forever, like for the game to actually load up the multiplayer, it takes about a minute, and on, on Call of Duty it takes about 10 seconds, so it's just a bit annoying. So that's why I don't like quitting so I can find a team death match or just stay in the lobby and each match takes over a minute as well so when you're in the lobby you have to wait over a minute before the game actually starts which is a bit annoying so um, maybe in the future they could change that I doubt it because um, that's one of the bad things about this game no one plays it really and I got it at a bad time because I think this game was released in August like the end of August and it's not been out for that long, really, a few months, and it's barely got any players, because if you can only find free fall matches, and obviously it can't have that many players, and it hasn't even been released in America yet, and I heard that the servers aren't going to be the same, so I won't be able to connect to anyone in the USA, so that doesn't mean anything about having more players, because they're going to have different servers, which doesn't make any sense. I think all the games should be on the same servers, rather than having a separate one for Europe and the US, which is just stupid because the game already has less players as it is and obviously it's not going to have that much more from the US 
Um, so hopefully in the future I'll get different gameplays, like, because I want to play Team Deathmatch and there's some other games I want to play. I don't really know the names, but the only way I could find these matches was pressing auto matchmaking. But it seemed to have put me in these in this game mode all the time, even though I didn't really want to play this one, it, it kept putting me in this game, so I just thought, well, I'll have to play it, won't I? And I want to play the Siege mode, but I haven't unlocked it yet, I don't know if you have to be a certain level, I'm guessing you do. And I still don't really understand everything about this game, so, you know, the thing on the bottom right that has, like, the bar filled up, you can use that when it's filled up, and it is, but I don't know what button you have to press, so if you guys know what button you have to press for... Um, to activate this X gear, I think it's called, and let me know because the game didn't really tell me. And one thing I do like about this game is you can have two weapons. So you can have um, an assault rifle and a submachine gun. You don't have to have a assault rifle and a pistol like you do in Call of Duty. And w with using a perk, obviously you can have a different gun, but um, I like it in this game because, as you can see, I'm switching between both of them because you can run out of ammo quite quickly, but... I think um, scavenger counts for everyone on this game, so you, when you walk past the dead body you can pick up a, um, a magazine pack so you get more ammo. But I still like how you can switch between guns, because sometimes I'll switch to my submachine gun when I'm in close quarter range with someone so I can kill them easier. I like how you can earn Dolan as well, that's quite good. Um, how you can earn money, but I don't like how much golden eggs you can earn. You can only earn one per level up. I don't know if you can earn them more than one so in somehow, maybe playing a certain game mode, I don't know. But I might do a live come on this game soon, we'll have to see. And I won't be uploading too much because I've got mock, mock exams in a month's time, so I'm going to be revising for that. But maybe I'll do a live come, maybe I'll upload another gameplay next week. So stay tuned for that. So I think that's the end of the video now. As you can see, I've grown 20 and 10, which isn't too bad. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to suck on like. Stay tuned for more Devil's Third gameplay coming soon. And comment down below giving me any tips, because obviously I don't really know how to play the game that much yet. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.